<laughs> All right, with that incredible weather over the weekend, many of you might have taken the opportunity to tune up your bike, take it out for a ride. Avid cyclists in western New York certainly know about the Erie Canal Way Trail, but today we learned that the stretch of trail in Lockport will be getting some extra attention. The city was selected as one of three trail towns this year. And joining us live to talk about that is Dylan Carey. He is the Greenway Program Director for Parks and Trails New York. Sir, thanks for coming on. We really appreciate it. And we wonder, you know, we got this news release today and immediately thought, what does it mean to be a trail town? And how is this designation uh, going to be helping Lockport and that part of Niagara County? Great, thanks for having me. Uh, yes, we're excited to be working with Lockport uh, and excited that they were selected as one of the provisional trail towns for 2023. Uh, over the course of the next nine months, Parks and Trails New York, in, with support from the New York State Canal Corporation, is going to be working with a trail town committee in Lockport uh, that's going to be led by Mayor Roman's team, along with the Greater Lockport Development Corporation and Lockport Main Street. We're going to be supporting the community with research and assessment, We'll be developing promotional resources and strategies and working towards creating and adopting an action agenda that will help guide future work in, in Lockport. Yeah, we know that this industry can be big business, um, especially for a place like Lockport. Um, and we know how much cycling means to so many Western New Yorkers. Um, over the short term and the long term, I know that you're just kind of beginning to, to look at all of this, but what improvements um, do you see that, that might happen there and in the other places where um, you've selected these cities as well? Yes, I mean, we know that Lockport already is a destination for trail users and there's great work that's underway already. I mean. We know that people who come from all around the country want to stop in Lockport and, and see the Lockport flight and see the uh, recently uh, installed Lock Tenders Tribute Monument. Uh, and we know that the trail is popular. Uh, we released a report called Who's on the Trail just in the past week that uh, relayed over 75,000 visits to the Canalway Trail in Pendleton each year. And we're going to be recording trail use in Lockport this year. So we'll really be looking at ways that we can coordinate existing efforts uh, to promote the community as well as to develop trail related resources. Uh, things such as the Bike Friendly New York Certification Program, efforts to count and quantify trail use, and other efforts that really seek to promote the community and the trail and make sure that they're all speaking the same language and identifying opportunities uh, to, to just benefit trail users and to benefit the community. Yeah, you think of the dual purpose here, right? Part of it is tourism and marketing this, as you just mentioned, to people from outside the area. I, I know that last year you estimate more than 3 million people visited the Erie Canal Way Trail, um, but it's also about having this, you know, gym in Western New York for local cyclists as well. So sort of both parts of that kind of fitting in. Yeah, the 3 million people that visited the canal, we estimate probably 90 to 95% of them are people from New York State. It really is a community asset. And, and one of the best nationwide definitions of a trail town is that a trail town is a community that embraces the trail and really works to develop and enhance it as a resource for the community and for visitors. So really we'll be looking at building off of the strengths the community already has and finding ways for community members to get involved and to really uh, make sure that the trail is all it can be for those community members and that the tourism that comes in is done in a way that that benefits the community that's helping to support small businesses downtown. Finally, and I've only got about 30 seconds left, but when you talk about coming up with this plan and what investments are needed, I imagine there are lots of, of grants and other opportunities for funding out there for a place like Lockport to be able to to take advantage of. Yes, and that'll be something that we identify through this work. We'll be creating an action agenda for Lockport. And as part of that action agenda, we'll identify some recommendations, but also some funding opportunities that could help, uh, you know, help fund those recommendations. Dylan Carey is the Greenway Program Director for Parks and Trails New York. Uh, we appreciate you coming on and telling us about this. I know folks in Lockport uh, are very excited. So thank you, sir. Thank you for having me.